Hi, I'm Ken Van Ort. I'm the area sales manager for boats for Yamaha Motor Canada. We're at the Toronto International Boat Show and we're going to show you one of our most popular boats in the lineup right now. It's all new for 2012 uh, with a redesigned hull and deck, uh, expanded cockpit layout for uh, more seating capacity. It seats up to nine people. Uh, the bow has been expanded like our 242 Limited to allow uh, more seating capability in different configurations and bow seating configurations in the front. Our swim platform has been uh, again readdressed and uh, the integrated swim platform is lower to the water, just sits inches above the water for easy swimming in and off and uh, staging for wakeboard and sports. So what, uh, what, what you'll find with, the, uh, with Yamaha's ability to uh, get the motor lower into the hull allows these boats to feel much larger than an average 21 foot boat would, more like 22 to 23 foot with room inside. Uh, conventional stern drive boats would have sun pads at the back um, and maybe doghouse type box with two side seats taking up a lot of the cockpit space. Our motor in the hull, low in the hull, really leaves a lot of room for the cockpit, like expanded cockpit room. Uh, also allows innovative design engineers have designed every inchable usable space for storage uh, under all our sport boats and every nook and cranny in the bow and uses all used for extra storage. And Yamaha has uh, not only set out to design these boats to uh, look and feel like some of the highest end runner boats available on the market today, these boats, the myth of old jet boats, is, is gone. Yamaha has gone further um, than anyone in the industry to make these boats also have handling characteristics much like these higher end uh, runner boat boats. They've uh, introduced uh, some new technology into the market. Uh, one of the new things they've done was a thrust directional enhancer. And this allows the water to be propelled at a certain angle, precise angle, to improve low speed handling and docking. The benefits of a stern drive, have, the list has gotten so low compared to the uh, benefits now from a, a jet drive. Jet drive is a lot safer with no propeller in the water to harm anybody if anybody was swimming around the boat for danger. Uh, a lot safer, a lot less maintenance, no gears, no propeller swinging around, no oil intrusion into gear cases, that kind of thing. The boats are a lot easier to drive as well. There's no uh, trimming angle to get optimum performance. Uh, in a conventional stern drive, if you're sitting in the water and you've just finished coming off a plane, uh, your outdrive could still be in a trimmed up, a positive uh, lift position, and that would cause extensive bow rise. If you have to slow down again, take the trim down, ease it to get out of the water. You have no worries. The jet drive is always set to run at an absolute optimum angle all the time. Increase very high thrust points, very low bow rise. It's, it's, it's so insignificant there's almost no bow rise.